Hey, nice hair. Hey, nice Chromebook. Hey, nice math grade. Now you're thinking Mr. Q is really weird. Why is he giving people compliments while shooting them with fake pistols? Well, first off, uh, these aren't fake pistols. These are compliment pistols. Why are they compliment pistols? And why is he using two compliment pistols? Because today we're going to learn about complementary angles. And complementary angles are two angles that make 90 degree angles. So two angles that when put together add up to 90 degrees. So complementary two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So go out there, shoot people with compliments, but just remember those two guns put together add up to 90 degrees. So as mentioned, we are going to be talking about complementary angles. So what's in this video? Duh, complementary angles. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So complementary angles are two angles. So here's one angle right here. And here's another angle right here. So here's angle one and here's angle two. And these two angles add up to equal 90 degrees. So two angles that add up to be 90 degrees. All right, so let's go with our first example. These two uh, right here are complementary angles. So complementary angles because you see this little box right there, this little square. This square says that this big angle, so let's highlight it, this big angle right here is 90 degrees. So these two angles that are within this big angle have to add up to 90 degrees. So this is how we set up our equation. 56 plus B is equal to 90 degrees. And we just do one thing, we subtract 56 from both sides and B equals 34 degrees. That's it. Or you could have just said, oh, saw that the, these two angles add up to 90. So subtract 56 from 90 and you would still get 34 degrees. All right, so the key is this little square right here saying that this big angle that these two angles uh, are within is 90 degrees. Example number two, put this in your notebooks, find the value of X. So again, what's the key? This little red square right here saying that this big angle that is made up of these two mini angles adds up to 90 degrees. So let's set up that equation, 54 plus 3X plus six is equal to what? 90 degrees. You know why? Because it's a good looking angle. Hey angle, you're good looking. So there's my compliment to you angle. Uh, so let's combine like terms. 54 plus six is 60 plus three X is equal to 90. We'll subtract 60 from both sides and we'll have three X is equal to 30. And the very last step, this is three times X. The opposite of multiplication is division. So X is equal to 10. Now be careful. It doesn't say find the measure of the angle. We, it just says find the value of X, the variable. So don't put 10 degrees because the angle isn't 10 degrees. Okay, it's X equals 10 degrees. So don't worry about putting degrees when you're trying to find the variable. Only when you're trying to find the angle measure. All right, and the very last example for complementary angles. Now it says find the measure of angle DBC. What's the key here? This square right here. The square says that this angle, angle ABD, plus this angle, angle DBC, equals 90. So let's write that. So 2x minus 4, which is angle ABD, plus x plus 7, which is angle DBC, they both add up, or their sum is 90 degrees. So 
from there on we just do some basic algebra let's combine some like terms 2x plus 1x is 3x negative 4 plus 7 is 3 positive 3 is equal to 90 and then we'll subtract 3 from both sides and we'll have 3x is equal to 87 and the last step we'll divide 3 on both sides and let's do some division I don't have my calculator so hopefully this is correct so x equals well 3 goes into 8 2 times the remainder is 2 3 goes into 27 9 times so x is equal to 29 so most people have heard of long division this was short division so uh, yeah 29 however okay so the question doesn't ask for X but we found X the question asked for the measure of angle DBC so which one is angle DBC well if we connect the, the dots we go from D to B to C right here so it's asking for the measure of this angle right here okay so we have X and we know that DBC is represented by X plus 7 so we'll just substitute X with 29 so 29 plus 7 is equal to 36 degrees now we found the angle so 36 degrees all right and if you want to make sure that that's the correct answer just for funsies uh, let's check let's actually plug in X back into here to angle ABD which is 2x minus 4 so let's go 2 times 29 minus 4 and see what that gives us 2 times 29 is 58 <clears throat> And we'll bring down the 4. And 58 minus 4 is 54 degrees. Now, why is it important that this is 54 degrees? Well, if we added 54 and 36, what's 54 plus 36? 90 degrees. So we know that uh, we're pretty sure that we're correct with our answer because when we plugged in 29 into DBC, it gave us 36. When we plugged in ABD, uh, 29 into angle ABD, it gives 54. And these aren't just random numbers because 54 plus 36 is 90 degrees. So these two angles add up to 90 degrees. They're complements. So hey, great job today. Great job with complementary angles. And hopefully you guys get all these correct on the next quiz or test. Have a great day.